a scene in South Philadelphia, a scene we have become accustomed to for 30 plus years, except there is a new building to take notice of, and it is a building the Phillies will be calling home starting in April 2004. The vet will be no more after today when we close down the shop as the Phillies take on the Atlanta Braves here on UPN 57. Inside, fans have brought their jerseys, they brought family members, they have brought cameras and camcorders to capture the moments. They say thanks for the many memories that took place inside this venue in South Philadelphia. But today, we join together 63,000 or so strong to say so long to the vet, to say thank you for the great times, and to say we're moving on down the street here along Patterson Avenue into the future. A pleasant good afternoon to you, and welcome to Phillies Weekly here on UPN 57. I'm Ron Burke. Normally, we bring you this show from inside the studio. Today, however, much too special to do that. We join you from just here along the field at the venerable vet for what will be a day of celebration. In fact, it has been a weekend of celebration here at Veterans Stadium with former Phillies, Phillies from the past coming together, merging with Phillies of the present to celebrate those days and to sort of stretch this thing into the future as the Phillies get set to close down this stadium one final time. Over the course of the next half hour, we'll get you prepared by looking toward the future. We'll have special guests who will join us here uh, for this 30-minute show, and we will get you ready for game time coming up at the bottom of the hour as the Phillies close out a series, a season, and a home. First, let's get you set by looking at some on-field matters, specifically the men who will be charged with the responsibility of throwing pitches in this game. And interestingly, for such an important game to celebrate such a long history, the task falls to a one-year Philly, Kevin Millwood, to get the start today. Millwood had said since the beginning of the season, since joining the team, he'll wait until afterwards to determine whether he will rejoin the Phillies or go to another club. He came, of course, from the Atlanta Braves, and he'll be facing his former mentor. But I guess Maddox once a mentor, always a mentor. This Maddox will be on the hill for the Atlanta Braves. And what a season for Greg Maddox. Yes, he is getting older, but he is not necessarily getting uh, anything but better. Maddox is setting a major league record by winning 15 games for a 16th consecutive season. He accomplished that his last time out. So it will be Millwood versus Maddox, the M&M guys on this special day of baseball here at the Vet. As I said, we'll be taking you through, uh, just giving you an idea of some of the celebrations that will be coming up here within the game and outside the game as well with a, a big after party, if you will, following today's festivities that will involve Phillies from the past and the weekend actually began on Friday, the special weekend as we saw old Phillies trot back into town and take part in various activities that have gone on here. And yesterday, a special day as well as the all-vet team for one was presented. And of course, Mike Schmidt's going to be a major part of that. Tug McGraw, who earlier this season was prominent in Phillies history for a very different reason and has maintained his presence with this organization as well. Steve Carlton, the best left-hander ever to wear a Phillies uniform on hand. Juan Samuel, who Juan looks good. Looks like uh, Sammy can still swipe 40 if he just put on the cleats and the stirrups and the pants and everything. And Larry Boa, the present-day manager, sharing a great moment uh, on the platform there with his former manager, Dallas Green, who was here, of course, during uh, the great days. As for the all-vet team, voted on by the fans, Dutch mans the mask behind the plate. John Krug edged out Pete Rose, and Juan Samuel inch past Manny Trio at second. Left side of the infield, uh, you could call this a no-brainer. Boa and Michael Jack, the outfielder anchored by the Secretary of Defense, Gary Maddox, who has maintained a strong presence here in the Delaware Valley since his playing days. The bull, Greg Luzinski, is in left. Bobby Abreu, current player, mans the right field spot. Lefty is an obvious choice for sure. Kurt Schilling is the right handed starter. Tugger is the closer. Dallas Green, the all-vet skipper, and Larry Boer, the present skipper, reacted yesterday to being a part of this elite group. There's a lot of good memories out there for those guys who were on that platform. Obviously, for our young players, there's a lot of memories they want to just move over across the street, but those guys who were on that platform, there's a lot of good, good things that happened to them in their careers, and Hall of Fame credentials, and uh, a lot of winners out on the platform, a lot of winners that, that knew what it took to, to go the extra mile. 
Well, speaking of going the extra mile, it helps to have staying power in order to build that kind of reputation. And certainly one of the men here at the vet today has had that over the years. This stadium was constructed back in 1971. The Phillies began playing here in April of that year. And through it all, the man with the golden voice has been a part of it and will continue to do so today in the final game at this venue. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only Harry Callis. He joins us now from a familiar spot atop the field from the broadcast booth. Harry, it's good to see you. You're looking great for a great occasion. And I'll take you back to 1971. You joined this club then from the Houston Astros. Uh, what were your memories or what are your memories as you look back to 30 plus years here? Well, my memories of the first year of Veterans Stadium in 1971, I was just awed to come to Philadelphia from the Houston Astros. And, you know, a tremendous crowd on hand. I got the feel right out of the chute of how beautiful Philadelphia fans are and how loyal and supportive Philadelphia fans are. My first order of business was conduct the pregame ceremonies down in the field, and I was nervous my first year here in Philadelphia. And I got back up to the booth, glad that that was over, and I got that done. And then it dawned on me that I failed to introduce the president of the National League, Chubb Feeney. Uh-oh. And the Chubb was so gracious about it. I apologized to him when I saw him. He couldn't have been nicer. And so a lot of fond memories here, Ron, including 27 years with my late great partner, Richie Ashburn. And uh, to this day, Ron, not a game goes by where something doesn't happen on the field or in the booth that reminds me of his whiteness and it's always with a smile on my face and warmth in my heart. For sure. I recall, Harry, uh, upon you being named as a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame, you reflected on those early years and you mentioned how Whitey was among those who helped bring you through the tough times as a young announcer and you certainly have, as I said, had great staying power and have, have risen uh, to the top echelon of this profession and for that you certainly should be credited and have been in many ways over the years. And I wonder as you look at the different decades perhaps of this organization what moments stand out in your mind I assume the World Series title will be number one on the list but what else stands out well you have to put yes the 1980 World Championship Philadelphia Phillies one and only World Championship Doug McGraw striking out Willie Wilson to bring the Phillies to the promised land and also 83 and 93 that cast the characters in 93 that got the Phillies to the World Series having the opportunity to have called the entire Hall of Fame career of Michael Jack Schmidt was certainly a plus and you know you talked about the all veteran stadium team and how the Crucker just edged out P. Rose yeah. well you know if the fans had watched him the whole year long and if voting hadn't been really so early yeah. by the fans for the all vets team the guy playing down there at first base right now I talked to Mike Schmidt before the game run and I said Schmidt you know your home run record might be in jeopardy today with Jim Tomey and he said he'll probably hit one the first time up. <laughs> that would be great drama and a perfect and fitting moment for this day. Harry, as I said, you look sharp and it, it certainly fits the occasion. Have a great final game here and thanks for joining us. Really looking forward to it, Ron. Thank you. All right, so are we. Still to come here on Phillies Weekly as we continue to count down the moments here at the vet. The Phillies took things all the way to the final week again this season. It was quite a ride and there surely were some amazing plays along the way. Coming up, we will look at our top ten list from this season. As we head to break, as we always do at this point in the program, we give you this week's trivia question. The vet played host of the first two games in that amazing NLCS against the Astros back in 1980. There was just one home run hit by both teams over the entire five game series. Who hit that home run? The answer's coming up later. KFC's popcorn chicken is back, and it's bigger and better than ever. Big, juicy pieces of all-white breast meat, now with fewer crumbs. Get a party size for just $6.99 or an individual size for just $1.99. New, bigger, better popcorn chicken, only from KFC. Create and direct your own TV commercial. Visit KFC.com. I have brown hair. I'll be in a black dress. How will I know you? I'm 5'11 with graying... No, salt and pepper. 
with brown hair. Just for Men hair color rejuvenates hair. It's vitamin enriched. In five easy minutes, gray is shampooed away. It brings back a confident, natural look. You look exactly like I imagined. So, where do we go from here? Your PC or mine. Just for Men, the rejuvenator. Please close your eyes while we change into something more comfortable. Hey, you peaked. The redesigned 2004 Nissan Sentra. With a great lease price of only $159 a month. Available at your Nissan dealer now. Part of your life and lifestyle. Making your life more comfortable. Sheet Metal Workers, Local 19. Sheet Metal Contractors Association. Partners, Partners in Progress. progress. it has been for the Phillies this season. We welcome you back now to Phillies Weekly here on UPN 57. Again, Phillies and Braves coming up at the bottom of the hour on what is party day here at Veterans Stadium. Certainly a day of remembrance for the entire work of art here that the Phillies have put together this season and certainly the, the entire body of work for the past 30 plus years. As we focus now on the year 2003, there were a lot of great moments and, and I guess sitting at the top of the list would have to be the newcomer Jim Tomey who just fit in so well, so quickly, so effectively and has risen in the hopes of Phillies fans so much in such a short time. And with good reason, he has been outstanding. Jim Tomey, not surprisingly then, plays a key part as we now recap our top plays, our top 10 plays of the Phillies season 2003. Swings it into center field. Oh, oh man! What a play by Porto! Piazza hammers a breaking ball to left center field, and oh, oh and third made a spectacular catch on that.
is our top 10 moments, uh, Phillies moments from the vet here this season. And what a great ride it's been for the Phillies. And we're here at Veterans Stadium getting set for the start of today's game. And talking about great moments, I'm joined by one of the Phillies greats who was here this weekend for the festivities. I had Harry on, Harry Callis, in the first segment. I should have had him set you up perfectly <laughs> with his patented introduction yeah. of, of you. But I'll just say Mickey Morandini. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to be back. Great to be back. I bet it is. Now, these days you're living outside Chicago, but you're a Philadelphia, Pennsylvania born and bred guy from the Pittsburgh area. That's right. And, and you're back here in Philadelphia 10 years ago. What was the glory days as far as this franchise, the last glory days is concerned? You were part of it. What was it like as you, I'm sure you've reflected back on that as you've seen the guys and thought about what's at stake here. Oh, absolutely. It was the funnest year of my life. Yeah. I know the fans enjoyed it so much. I mean, this is what it was about right here, seeing all these fans in here and reacting to the winning team. Uh, it's a shame that we couldn't be playing for a little bit more today, but uh, great place to play here. When you think about, you know, we should have 60,000 plus here today for this final game. When you think about when you had those capacity crowds, say during that NLCS against this same Atlanta Braves franchise, uh, that must have been something that really heightened the spirits of you guys. Oh, back. And it really pushed you through. It really does. When you play in a stadium with this many people and they're all cheering for you, that just, you know, elevates your game so much more. And, you know, we weren't the best team probably on paper that year, but we played so well together, and the, part of the reason was having all these people here. What are you looking most forward to today? This is it. I don't know. I mean, I, I hear there's going to be some tears after, so I'm, I'm going to try and hold back the tears. But, uh, you know, I look, 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 look next street and see that beautiful stadium over there, and that's something really to look forward to. But just so many memories in this park. It, it, it's definitely a bittersweet kind of day. All right. It's been uh, an exciting season for the Phillies. You guys know what that's about because you brought us that kind of excitement and then some 10 years ago. Mickey, it's a great pleasure to see you. Oh, great to be back. Thank Hope you. you enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will. All right. Mickey Morandini, fabulous second base for the Phillies is back among uh, the group here as he reflects on the years that have passed as we give credit to Chopper 3 for these great aerial shots. And we thank you for being with us as we'll continue here at Veterans Stadium on Phillies Weekly. We continue to look back and at the same time celebrate the moments that the present has brought us. Stay with us. My essay is called, Why the Webbers Should Choose Us for Local Phone Service. By the way, nice lawn. <clears throat> Choose our phone service because we're family. This is a little beetle weedle. You can shop for local phone service in Pennsylvania. That means companies will compete for your business with services that could save you money. And the duck says, put it on my bill. Local telephone choice. Another great call for Pennsylvania. Kids, you love this? Sure you do. Please close your eyes while we change into something more comfortable. Hey, you peaked. The redesigned 2004 Nissan Sentra. With a great lease price of only $159 a month. Available at your Nissan dealer now. The Laborers District Council of the Metropolitan Area of Philadelphia and its vicinity are bringing local unions together. Our mission is to foster harmony and to promote unity of action in dealing with employers. From the smallest of projects to the greatest, the LDC has stood proud for almost 70 years as a pillar of the Philadelphia workforce. The Laborers District Council of the Metropolitan Area of Philadelphia, building a better tomorrow today. Welcome back to Veterans Stadium as we rejoin you, as you rejoin us here on Phillies Weekly, bringing a guy who's, who's been a regular part of our show here, and that's Hal Bodley of USA Today. But before that, Hal, you were in the area as a writer. Right. You've been a great contributor to, to the game of baseball as a whole uh, with USA Today. And you have some fond memories uh, of the Phillies in this particular venue because you grew up in this area and been here as a longstanding member of the community. I covered hundreds of games here, and when I think back to my most memorable moments, my top three memorable moments is with number three, it was in 1981 when Pete Rose broke Stan Musial's all-time National League hits record. It wasn't so much that uh, Pete broke the record that night, but the fact that he went to the press conference trying to get in touch with President Reagan on the telephone, and they had a lot of problems. And finally, he said, I'm going to give you five more minutes, and at that time, the president came on the phone. 
So that's number three, Pete Rose breaking Stan Musial's. Number two on the list takes us back to the 70s. It really does. Of course, the Phillies won the division championships three years in the 1970s. And I believe the 1977 team was the best ever. But of course, that team lost the third game here at the Vet because Danny Ozark, the manager, did not replace Greg Luzinski in left field with Jerry Martin. The Dodgers went on to win that game, won the next night, and won the, you know, the series. All right, so that's number two. Number one falls again, I guess, in the obvious category. Huh? You know, after eons and eons, it's a no-brainer. Of course, the 1980 World Series, Willie Wilson swings and misses, Tug McGraw jumps off the mound, and the Phillies are world champions. It was really the greatest moment ever for me here at the Vet. Yeah, you and a whole bunch of other folks and uh, that's something that we've obviously looked back on many times over the years and, and as this venue comes to a close today I, I think maybe it's it's looked on with a, a lot more fondness because, really the moment hand. because they haven't done it since then yes. Al thanks so much we look Always forward to seeing pleasure. you next season on Phillies Weekly it's going to be my pleasure right, enjoy the, the rest of your day Thank you. it's special for a lot of folks here at the vet Hal and certainly those within the Phillies organization we'll continue here with Phillies Weekly live from Veterans Stadium again our thanks to Chopper 3 for providing these beautiful aerials they will be some of the final aerials we'll get this day from this venue stay close we're coming right back to close things up I have brown hair I'll be in a black dress how will I know you I'm 511 with graying no, salt and pepper with brown hair. Just for Men hair color rejuvenates hair. It's vitamin enriched. In five easy minutes, gray is shampooed away. It brings back a confident, natural look. You look exactly like I imagined. So, where do we go from here? Your PC or mine. Just for Men, the rejuvenator. These prices are absolutely amazing. You know, I can't miss this sale. Jimmy! <laughs> Shop Acme's three-day three-for-one sale. Use your super card and get three times the value of your coupons. Plus, save on three diamonds chunk light tuna, three for 99 cents. And Kraft cheese singles, three for 3.98. Oh, it's so early. Jimmy, I got your cookies. Yeah, aren't you glad we stopped? Acme, helping make your life easier. The powerful Nissan Altima. It looks good on the coast. It looks good in the city. It looks good in the country. And with a special lease price of just $219 a month, imagine how good it'll look in your driveway. The stylish Nissan Altima, now $219 a month. Welcome you back with the answer to this week's trivia question. We asked you, and we took you back to that 1980 NLCS. There was just one home run hit by both teams over the five games. We asked you who hit it, and the answer is the Bull, Greg Luzinski, home run in game one at the Vet back in 1980. Phillies Weekly continues. Change your life now. Get back your confidence, your feeling of freedom. Unsightly hair loss can impose a stigma on your daily life. Only years ago, it would have been impossible to rejuvenate your lifestyle without painful surgery, debilitating drugs, or ineffective treatment products. But now, thanks to cutting-edge technology and credited professionals, it's simple and painless. Revitalize yourself without the nasty side effects. Introducing state-of-the-art laser hair therapy and genetic grafting technology. The Ferrari Hair Center of Philadelphia is unlike any other hair center you have ever visited. We are dedicated to giving you the most natural, exciting head of hair. Well, thanks to the Ferrari Hair Center and their excellent team, they helped me find a procedure that worked right for me, giving me back that thicker, fuller hair. I was really impressed with Ferrari. My hair is thicker, it's stronger, it's fuller. I feel great. This really is the first day of the rest of your life.
KFC's popcorn chicken is back, and it's bigger and better than ever. Big, juicy pieces of all-white breast meat, now with fewer crumbs. Get a party size for just $6.99 or an individual size for just $1.99. New, bigger, better popcorn chicken, only from KFC. Create and direct your own TV commercial. Visit KFC.com. With new Odor Eaters Plus. Odor Eaters Plus is the only insole with podiatric arch support, plus protection on demand against odor and wetness. Coming up on the King of Queens, an anniversary celebration. Salsa dancing? That's got split my pants written all over it. Turns into a gambling getaway. Atlantic City. I'm in. And all bets are off. Next on the King of Queens. Monday night at 6 on UPN 57. Welcome back to Veterans Stadium. Pre-game ceremonies are continuing here as the Phillies get set to take on the Braves for the final game here at the Vet. We'd like to thank Harry Callis for being here as a guest today, as well as Mickey Morandini, Hal Bodley stopping by. And I certainly like to thank the entire Phillies Weekly crew put together a great season of work here, from the producers to the technical crew to everybody concerned. And we thank you also for joining us this season. Coming up now here on UPN 57, the Phillies and the Braves enjoy the game. The rest of your day and enjoy the moments.